Okay, well, back out to the shop. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely fabulous and fantastic because I am super excited about this video and not just because, well obviously, it's what I do every day and I love what I do. Look at those 22s. On the 7.3 we're gonna be putting on new headlights, a new grill, and new mirrors in this video and I think you guys are gonna love the transformation that this truck takes. This is not gonna be the end of it in this video, but this is gonna be the beginning of the end. In other words, this is the last big modification that I will be doing on the truck, so you're gonna have to stay tuned for what's next. After we get the parts installed today, then we're gonna go over all the final touches that are gonna be happening to the truck that you aren't gonna see like done on video, but they're gonna be done when you see the truck back. Super stoked with how this thing has turned out so far and just cannot wait to see the full reveal when it's completed. I think you guys are gonna be amazed at how this thing turns out. Also guys, I wanna say a massive thank you to everybody that entered to win the second gen Longhorn. You guys are absolutely fantastic and I love you. Even if you couldn't enter and you just wanted to enjoy the video content of that truck and the transformation that it did take, thank you guys anyhow just for watching the content. I super highly appreciate it. Reagan appreciates it and we just could not be more thankful for everything that you guys have done for us, which has enabled us to do a lot for you. Enjoy the video, let's get into tearing apart this front end. are in. I know it is very dusty in here now. The truck's all covered in dust. That is because there were a couple little plastic pieces that when you get these one piece headlights for these Fords, they just don't fit. They don't fit factory. So if you're trying to just fit them in without doing any cutting, and so you do a little bit of cutting to like the old mounting plastic hardware back behind there that the original lights came off of. If you just do a little bit of cutting, like you're literally taking like an inch off of one spot and another inch off another corner. Once you try to fit them in, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's actually a pretty standard thing for fitment of the one-piece headlights in these trucks, in the 7.3 trucks. And then, of course, here's the other side, and now you're probably noticing the grill. And you're probably thinking, okay, what happened to the 6.0 front-end swap? Let me break it down for you. So when I got this truck, my original plan was to do a front-end 6.0 swap. What I didn't realize is that just the conversion kit is about $1,800 if you're gonna buy the new kit with all the paintable plastic bumper, paintable plastic grill. So what I decided was something different. I decided I was gonna buy a 6.0 grill that was cut to fit the 7.3 trucks. And this grill was made by MKM Customs. The grill essentially fits without having to make any modifications because they already made modifications to the grill. You can kind of see they cut the grill to fit. They basically took a Ford Genuine Parts grill, which is what that is. They just don't adhesive the uh, emblem on until you get it paint matched. But anyway, so that's what the grill is. And the bumper, you're probably wondering, well, what about the bumpers in? I'm actually about to take this truck to our paint and body guy. And what he's gonna do is he's going to obviously professionally, you know, sand, prime, and paint the bumper as well. I'm debating whether or not I should have him paint the plastics. The reason for the plastics is they're just faded and they're gray anyway, and they kind of look like the grill in terms of like being a little bit dull colored just because they're so faded. So I might actually have him paint the grill, the bumper, the valance, all factory black. We're gonna be swapping out the mirrors here yet. We're not done with that yet. We're gonna swap the mirrors out. He's gonna be painting the mirrors black, same color as the truck. And then he's gonna be sanding off the chrome, priming and painting the rear bumper as well. If you haven't seen that, that's of course chrome. So he's gonna be doing all of that over the next couple of days. I think he said it's gonna take him about four days total and it should all be done. And I know it's not the 6.0 front end swap, okay? I understand that, but when it's done, I promise, I promise, I promise it'll look so, so good. And I know the truck looks a little bit funny right now because, you know, you've got the chrome, you've got the dull plastic, and then you've got the paint, and then you've got the faded gray balance. It just doesn't, it doesn't look complete, but I promise you when it's all painted, and it's all the same color, it'll look really, really good. You just have to trust me on this. It'll look great. Let's get on to installing the new mirrors on the truck as well. Well, we do have the new mirrors on the truck at last. These ones have the smoked corner pieces and these do have the 
daytime running lights and turning signals. Headlights in, grills in, all that stuff. It's all ready to go to paint. Super excited. I'm gonna have to get back and finish this video in just a second because I have to meet up with somebody to sell parts. I've been selling all kinds of parts around the shop. Every couple hours I'm selling something, so I'm gonna run off here and uh, meet up with somebody to sell a third gen grill and third gen headlights from the silver third gen way back. I'll get back to you guys in just a moment. Let's go on the first drive. This truck is awesome. <laughs> I gotta say, this truck is pretty, pretty amazing. I love this thing. This is actually gonna be the first drive on the new 22 by 12s. First two minutes into the drive, and I do know that these wheels and tires do just start to rub at a full lock. I just did a full lock test coming out of my driveway just to see, because I wanted to see if they'd rub. And they just started, I could hear a little bit of a hum like the tires catching a little bit of plastic. On our way to go sell something right now. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna close the video out with a little bit of a shot around this truck so you guys can see the parts that we installed today. Keep in mind though, the truck's getting all kinds of color matching, getting a whole bunch of color matching. It's not gonna look the same as it does right now. Just like when we had Big Blue put together the fourth gen with you know the dull colored black grill, the dull colored headlights, and this and that, and it just didn't look good. Once everything was color matched that truck just looked complete and same thing with this except it's gonna be black which is one of my favorite colors of vehicles I don't know if you guys know that but I bought a lot of black vehicles I love that color and especially color matched I haven't owned a single vehicle yet that's been fully color matched even the 2019 limited I had was not a fully color matched vehicle it was mostly color matched but not fully so this is gonna be really interesting enjoy this last little clip thank you guys so much for watching